board is sympathetic. Hmm. Melody Passmore reacting to that HOA letter telling her that her orphan grandson must be out by this summer. It's amazing how one rule is more important than one person's life. The 15 year old lost both his parents two weeks apart while living in California. We didn't plan this. We didn't go out all of a sudden one day and say, hey, let's have Clay kill himself and, and let's have Bonnie die and we'll take Colin in. And to heck with the HOA. It's not the way it was planned. Colin Claybaugh's grandparents live in a 55 plus community when they opened their doors to their grandson at the gardens at Willow Creek in Prescott. He's no danger to the old people that live here. And I'm sorry, I think most of them that are lipping off are old people. The HOA letter to the Passmores, it says the board must balance the interests of all parties involved, not just the Passmores. Just seems so heartless that even though we've explained our whole situation and everything, they still, it has to be the rule that dictates everything. It can't be, you know, someone's life. And this grandmother left with strong words for that HOA. I've stepped in things that I find nicer than you people. The lawyer for the HOA tells us the youngest someone living here can be is 19. They also say if they don't enforce this rule, it could set the HOA up for legal trouble. In Prescott, Nicole Gregg, ABC 15, Arizona.